Hey guys, how's it going? Tis back again with another episode of Pac-Man and after the uh, complete horror show that was the previous episode where I completely forgot to record uh, myself pulling Philip Plum in a pack we actually sold him one for 25,500 coins also shifted on Western for just over 5k as well so we got 30,000 coins sat in the bank which is absolutely perfect for what uh, my plans are for the rest of the series in the near future now, well, we have a lot of gold players that we pulled in the welcome packs, but we don't want to use them just yet because that would ruin the series if we jump straight to golds immediately. We've got decent bronze players. We've got this decent 100 chem team and also a kind of backup bronze team for fitness reasons that is actually all right in itself as well. So uh, what we're going to do is open a silver pack every single episode to make sure that we are opening packs on a consistent basis and then once we uh, once we move from the bronze to the silvers which might happen maybe at the end of division 9 or maybe a little bit early it depends how we get on in division 9 at least at the end of the second season whether we get promoted from 9 or not um, it will be at the end of the second season and then uh, once we're happy and have built a decent size and decent ability uh, silver team then we'll make the step up to golds a little bit later on in the series that's basically how I'm going to try and work it from here on out uh, last in last year's uh, series in FIFA 13 I didn't pull a player like Philip Lam the entire series so it's a completely new situation for me to be in to actually have quite a large amount of money in the bank early on in the series so we're going to take it as it comes and uh, try and work our way up to gold slowly almost as if we didn't have a giant uh, coin stack because I know a few people were a little bit annoyed that I did open the package, it did open the packs at the start, and uh, kind of wanted me to start from scratch like we did at the uh, beginning of the original Pack Only Road to Glory series on FIFA 13. What I may be thinking of doing actually for uh, for next gen, obviously we're going to be starting a new career mode on next gen in November. Maybe depending on how this series is going and uh, what situation it is at in November, maybe we'll start the uh, the Pack Only Road to Glory or Pac Man. Maybe we'll start it again. We'll restart this series. In, uh, in November as well, we'll have to wait and see how we're getting on, we may not, we might, who knows, we'll have to wait and see, it's a couple of months away yet, but in this one we were so, so unfortunate not to get anything from it, we battled back amazingly to get ourselves level with 88 minutes on the clock, and then Bansay just overpowers my defender with a, a lovely header from across to win him the match 3-2, and that's our second defeat online and uh, it's not the best way to uh, to start the episode but we're going to open a pack three and a, three and a half just over three and a half thousand coins 3750 for a premium silver pack and uh, the player we're going to pull in it is actually going to be a really really nice four star skiller that uh, is a brazilian called Zezinho now uh, uh, his full name is completely ridiculous it's got like five names in it we also pull a centre back Peter Clark from uh, Huddersfield as well Jose Luis dos Santos Pinto I think that's it as uh, it briefly flashed up on my screen but of course we pulled a kit as well and as with the rules of the series whenever we get a kit we have to apply it and make sure it's active same with balls same with stadiums same with badges etc so uh, you know we get the most out of the packs that we open and they're going to put everything else into the club and then push on into the next game because we only need three points to nail down the title but uh, this is a quick look at the silver team we're building at the minute of course with the packs we're opening whilst using the bronze team and now uh, we're getting there we've nearly got a full start in 11 still need a defender and then of course we can fiddle about with the formations depending on the sort of players that we have which is going to be extra freedom this year because of course there is the lack of formation cards and formation consumables which opens up a lot more opportunity to us and the ability to use a lot more different players and uh, hopefully we can get some rotation going as well for fitness purposes etc and uh, it will do the series uh, a lot of good but uh, we went 1-0 down in this second game from uh, Luis Garcia and I really really am not keen on Ben Amos right now he's just such a bad goalkeeper but uh, Waite is our main goal scorer in this side and he powers his back level with a great header from a corner and Deering plays a beautiful lob through ball to Gillespie and he rifles in that body right across the goal into the top of the left hand side of the net it's a really tidy finish and uh, those goals came back to back just two minutes apart and then into the end of the game just a few minutes from time now Waite's going to pick up his second with another beautiful goal the uh, the ability to get that ball back across the goalkeeper with his weak foot on that left side is absolutely superb that's definitely worth another look with a replay the uh, 
really, really impressed with that. Goalkeeper just can't get there despite throwing everything at it. And uh, we do take a win from that one. So we'll be able to get confirmation on screen in just a minute as we get weight getting the uh, man of the match. That uh, we are going to win the title in Division 10 at the first attempt, which is absolutely superb. Took us six games to get there rather than four like it did last year. But of course, FIFA Ultimate Team is actually a lot harder this year. Uh, you guys, I'm not sure when this will be going out. You guys may be able to let me know your experiences of your first bronze teams, etc. in the comment section down below. I'm personally finding it quite difficult to get to grips with, but I'm learning, I'm getting better, and hopefully in uh, Division 9 we can have a more successful season. But of course, the end slate is on screen, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Of course, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Links will be on screen as an annotation over the Pac-Man and of course in the description. Another link in the description will be to my Twitter at Chesnoid Gaming, so follow there if you don't already. Of course, the previous video will be an annotation on screen over the pink ghost to uh, the previous video from this series. And of course, feel free to check the channel page for anything else you may have missed over the past few days with of course the sub boxes being absolute dicks. So uh, that is going to wrap this video up guys, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.